It could be called the silence of the techno nerds. The world's largest computer service, America Online, went down yesterday for 19 hours, taking with it millions of subscribers who were suddenly cut off from their information wonderland. Six million people were taken offline. An electronic community of six million people were blacked out. You couldn't have electronic chat sessions online and you couldn't get instant news and stock quotes. Starfish Software in Scotts Valley, California, was having a big day launching a new product when America Online cut them off from their potential customers. We first kind of just looked at each other and said, gosh, now what do we do? Um... For some net heads and geeks, and that's what they call themselves, the crash of America Online left them feeling lost in cyberspace. Basically, the entire thing had crashed. And your reaction? Oh my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> Down at Cyberfelds, a computer coffee house in New York City, where people meet and greet, dial up information services, check out entertainment, and even order a steak online, there was a feeling that people's lives had been unplugged. And without it, you're very frustrated, you're very anxious. A black day, a black day. Physics student Shani Offen lost more than information when America Online died. She'd been flirting out in cyberspace. And you lost a relationship because of this? A potential relationship. And the worst thing of all for many netheads was having to resort to a more primitive technology. Sure. Telephones and faxes. Peter Van Sant, CBS News, New York.